Hey guys, um, so I finished my sketchbook, so it's really, um, it looks really big right now, you could say, and yeah, I finished it on the 26th of May, and I, yeah, I had it for like six months, I guess, and I'm really proud of myself because it's just the first sketchbook that I finished, and um, so I won't talk about the first few pages because I did another video on that so if you want to see that um, um, I link it at the end of this video and um, yeah so let's just start so these are some some sketches and some trials because I wanted to draw myself I'm not sure if you can see that because I don't like these two because first of all they look really different from each other and they don't look like me at all but then I did this one um, it's also on my Instagram which is linked down below and um, I like this one so I think I did a pretty good job on this one so yeah and then uh, I did a few more drawings uh, I started to glue little things in because um, I, I think it gives it a lot more life and um, so yeah I just thought I'd link them and try to tell a little bit of a story but yeah not entirely sure and then here I drew a mouth and um, I think I did pretty good because I usually don't like to draw the teeth because um, I'm not good at it and they always look like some monsters teeth but with this one I'm really proud of myself and um, then I just decided to write the haha -ha from the joker around it to fill the page then uh, this is my friend and um, after I did this painting of myself she said I should do one of her as well but um, I've just done the sketch so I've never uh, did the finished painting then um, I did a few more sketches on the train I think and um, yes yeah, so here uh, we have um, a boy or a man uh, on top of a, a match and uh, yeah the, the quote or the thing I wrote is says you can't stop me from burning and we have a little cat person in the water don't ask me what that is I don't, really don't know then I painted a fox and um, because I wanted to do a little bit of animal drawing and then I did this one also these two are also on the train as are these two so with this one I really don't know what happened I don't like it um, it's just there <laughs> and then this one which I really like I just feel like the horse doesn't have to be there <laughs> Then um, I did a really ugly drawing under here, or yeah, drawing. <clears throat> so I decided to make this page a bit prettier. And um, so I drew on another piece of paper and then cut it up, or yeah, and glued it on here. And I really like this painting or how it looks or this part. So yeah, I'm happy that I decided to cover this ugly drawing underneath and then I did this one on the train as well but I colored it later so just the inking is done on the train then um, this was um, on Zoella's birthday because I wanted to draw something for her but um, I did some some sketches to see if I could draw her and which photo I wanted to use and I was not really satisfied with it but then I did this one and I thought it was okay her face is like a little bit rounder than in real life but yeah well then I did a bit more inking but I didn't use a pen but I used my my liquid ink <laughs> let's just say that and then I did this painting of Zoe um, but I messed up her eyes so I uh, tried something new and just demonized her 
and I didn't send it to her because it doesn't look like her anymore or it shouldn't look like her. Then yeah, here I was just sketching along and here as well so I did another bit, another little figure and just a drawing and then here I wanted to draw like a person that turns uh, their head around really fast because I was really confused at the time of, because of several reasons so I tried it here in like really small and then in a bit bigger and yeah, here are a few anatomy studies because um, I really I, I'm, I was really sad how bad I got at anatomy and um, we learned in school that the human body is made out of eight parts so that the head um, is able to fit eight times into the body and yeah I tried but I'm <laughs> not really satisfied with it so here as well it just turned out to be really really big and then this is the finished painting of this sketch it turned out a bit different because here we have only the eyes that um, seem like they're turning or like they're moving and the other that's just three girls and yet yeah, and here I have these this page except for this person here um, I finished or I drew all the, these three and the part of this, this part of her I drew it later so when I nearly finished the sketchbook because the page was so empty and yeah I just wanted to do a bit more anatomy studies and just draw um, to see how the shapes work and then I have this one so this was the sketch for this one but I like <laughs> this painting better than I like this for this drawing and yeah then I have this painting um, as you can see I really like to paint my people uh, in water because then I don't have to draw the, um, the lower parts of the body then I have this one where I have this person here and then with my liquid ink I just drew over it and then I have these ones uh, which I really like to be honest so I even like this one even if it's like really experimental but I feel like it tells a story in some kind of way as does this one then um, on here um, I drew a house or I tried to draw a house but um, I was on the train again and I didn't see it for long just for one second and I wasn't able to draw it so I decided to um, stick in these post-its with um, people on them and then this I drew in on the train as well as I did this and this one or these um, so with this one it's just really cover one side it's a happy face and if you cover the other it's a sad face and yeah then here I discovered that it's easier to draw if you just um, uh, separate the face into these four shapes and then here I um, had a few quotes from my book because I had my book presentation and so I just wrote them in here so yeah, I did this one, but I'm not really super proud of it, it's just a drawing. And then I did this one and I really like it because um, there are these little stars everywhere and I just feel like it turned out really nice. Then I decided to do the emotion cycle. Um, so I had these three um, before and then I... Um, thought of how I could name them because all my paintings have a name and so this one is sadness, happiness, anger, hurt and um, this is just a finished uh, a concluding piece and I searched for uh, other for synonyms for these emotions of sadness became anguish, happiness became euphoria Anger became ire and uh, hurt became offense. So that we have the, the five 
uh, vowels, um, not the sounds, but the letters. So, A, E, E, I, O, U. And yeah, the last one is unity. So, all the symbols that the people are in. So, the moon, the diamond shape, the tear, and the cross are on here in the corresponding colors. And yeah. I just, it was like midnight and I wanted to draw something, so they are not really polished drawings, they're just, yeah, just an idea I wanted to do really quick. Then I have a mermaid uh, in a pipe. Um, I just had this vision and I um, originally I wanted her to look helpless, but then it turned out the tree is really angry. <laughs> Um, then here we have my planning for the, the, the emotion cycle and then a little an hourglass, <laughs> right, sorry, and um, a house where the key is missing and then I did a few drawings in colored pencil again and yeah, the, all of these are just really quick sketches so they take, one of them takes like one, two minutes. So then here um, I drew people and I think this person, this person looks a bit like her sister. But then I wanted to do uh, something uh, with books so I did a few little sketches on the top here and then a few bigger ones but I never did a real painting on them, they're just in here. Then I did these. Um, I really I don't like this one because it, it's so long. But yeah, well. Then I did this one. So I used um, the liquid ink uh, mixed with a lot of water for this these forms. Then I used less water for this, so it looks like it stands out a lot more. It's it's, it's nearer to you. But yeah, and then uh, I did these ones with uh, with my ink ink pen. And then here's a bit more playing uh, because I wanted to make a typewriter that I could stick or um, thread onto a jacket of mine, I think. And yeah, I don't have enough colors or enough thread for that. So then here, I don't know what happened. I just scribbled a bit, and yeah, it just it just it looks really creepy. And then here we have. Um, chair from my second book and these are like feathers because he has an owl that travels with him and here he dissolves because yeah it's a bit complicated but yeah and then I have another painting of him I really like this one because I have like a little sitting study that I really like and a person or a man leaning on a wall and um, so I wanted to draw a whole painting of him or a whole figure of him so I did these studies but I've not done it yet. Then here I drew an eye and I was really happy with it. And then to fill the page I also drew the back of a person, this little girl and an ear and like a river side to fill the page. I like these two pages a lot. And then yeah, here I try to do a bit of profile drawing but the only one that turned out semi good is this one. And yeah, so then here uh, I glued in all the papers that I drew on uh, in my note on my notes uh, in during uni class or while I was waiting for it to start because I really like these ones and I feel like they turn out really pretty. So I wanted them to be in my sketchbook as well. And then this one is um, like a little. A little mushroom and it's like an insider with one of my friends. Then a mermaid started so I tried to draw a few mermaids and experimented a bit with it. So for example here that's the first little sketch for this one and I was really proud of this one because yeah a lot of anatomy drawing <laughs> was included kind of and it worked pretty well I think. Then I drew two typewriters, again because of the idea with the jacket. And then a few more mermaids just to try it out. So here I used um, 
coal and like red uh, things and yeah it, I don't know what it's called and yeah then I get pencil and then here I did a few blind sketches so that you draw you look at something and draw it without looking at the paper and at what you're doing which you can obviously see here and then I did a few hand studies so I really like this one and I also like how this one turned out and then a few more a few better than others but I messed up here so yeah I'm really angry at myself for that then I did two a bit more realistic paintings apart from the crown but yeah so because I was really into drawing realistically uh, in, on this day so I did that and then I did some figure studies so that I just drew the figures and what happened really quick and then went on and now we're nearly finished so here another mermaid uh, but I'm not really happy with this painting because her head is so big I don't know how I feel about it then uh, that's a little sketch um, and trying to paint like Danny Castles I guess so I just wanted to see how she uh, did the hair and finished off with the hair so that she doesn't have to paint the body so here I tried another one and it should be a mermaid like this one and um, yeah then here I did a bit of foot drawing and a little silhouette but yeah the hand is like really messed up because I don't really like painting hands, drawing hands and then I did this sketch of a, bit of a bigger girl and uh, these are the last two paintings in here I guess so um, I tried to do this technique where the hairs finished it off and then I wanted to paint a few flowers but yeah and then I have again a little pocket for the stuff and then this one I drew a lot earlier but yeah and these um, fell down from a t-shirt so I glued them in here because I couldn't do anything else with them and yeah that's my whole first sketchbook and I'm really proud of it so so yeah and I've already made um, a new one so that would be this one it's a lot or it's a bit smaller than the other one because I didn't have enough um, paper and yeah I already started it I have a few things in here like I have a little little girl here and I didn't start um, chronologically um, because I just started in the middle somewhere and I used a few other papers so I used this paper that I potato stamped with my siblings and I used a bit of this paper so that I could scribble like in the other one where, where I glued my, my class scribbles in like these so I could do that here and yeah then like yesterday I did this one it took me several hours because it's a really elaborate piece but it's the first time I tried something this full and I really like how it turned out so yep and these are the studies for it because I wanted her because um, I wanted her to look over her shoulder like so but it didn't really look like that at the end but yeah so this is kind of the one I used at the end and here's the first little sketch for it and then my ink pen started to to stop working and I had to get all of the rest out of it and yeah then I have this painting but I don't really like it and yeah I think that's everything so far so yesterday I, paid, I did these little petal things and I'm gonna do more of them over the whole thing but not yet on the like thing and I just painted it with a really light um pink or violet color and yeah so that's it theoretically and I'm uh, so if you want to see a lot of my paintings I, or drawings I upload them on Instagram 
and I will definitely um, upload um, the process of my the progress on my new sketchbook and if you want to know how I bind these so just then just let me know because it's really not difficult and it, it it's a lot of fun that you can customize your sketchbook or your little notebooks like totally how you want it and yep yeah, I guess that's it for this week and bye